Well, hello again, Star Citizen fans. I am Fist25, part of Fisting Jawa Save the Universe, and welcome back to another stealth video. This is a follow-up video to the previous one I did in which I didn't actually capture all the stealth ships. I thought I did, but I didn't. And I received a lot of good feedback in the comments, and I wanted to share some of that with you guys and actually do another comparison now that it's patch day and patch 3.22 is live on the PU. So we're going to do some testing here in the PU on 3.22 for stealth. Kind of see how that goes. Uh, we're going to include a whole range of ships in here. We have the Aegis Eclipse, the stealth torpedo fighter-ish ship, the Aegis Saber, the Saber Raven, the Anvil Ghost, the Misk Razor LX. And we also have the Asperia Prowler, the stealth dropship, the Asperia Talon and Talon Shrike. Those are uh, Tavarum based stealth fighters, if you will. And what in the last patch, at least, was the stealthiest fighter of them all, the Consolidated Outland Mustang Delta. Yeah, I bet you probably didn't expect to hear that the Delta was or used to be the stealthiest fighter out there, but it was. It received a huge buff uh, to its EM and IR output, and it, it is made to be a reconnaissance craft. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and we're going to get into a little bit of specifics. Uh, we're not going to go through Urkel so much. And explaining components if you want to know the component game and how that kind of works with stealth please watch my other video it should be up up in that corner up there and until then i'll see you after the intro Right, folks it is fist and welcome to i guess maybe a boring section of the video it depends on how much of the stats and numbers you actually like to crunch we are at a, a relatively new website to me it's called sc ships performances viewer it's at spviewer.eu and i will throw the link in the description below in this video and while i do like urkel um this site seems to be, at least for me, a little bit more number crunchy and maybe a little easier to figure out. We are going to take a look at uh, the, some stock ships um, without heavily modifying them. Um, but when we do the testing for when we actually get picked up later on in the video, that will actually be as full stealth as we can get. So. Let's first off take a look at what used to be, at least in 3.21, the last patch, the stealthiest ship, and maybe that was an error on the part of CIG. I don't know, but it is, it looks to be changed as of now. That is the Consolidated Outland Mustang Delta, which is actually kind of a scout recon ship. Over here on this website, we have the stats for the Delta up here right now. We can see down in the lower right hand corner of the screen it has our emissions breakdown and for the emissions let's say uh we're well we can choose between idle and active and quantum travel and stuff like that and what power gets used when um it looks like it has a kind of bonus of negative 40 percent to EM emissions and negative 40% to IR emissions. EM being electromagnetic and IR being infrared. It will have a fixed cross section though. Um, and we'll get into that in just a sec. But if we look at just the idle EM, uh, roughly 2000 uh, is the EM with the weapons. Uh, oh, the EM is the yellow here. Uh, 
The weapons give us 2,000 of the EM, the IR-384, the systems give us different numbers and all that. But in total, at idle, uh, EM-6,100, IR-4,293, which is actually fairly okay, I guess, in comparison. We're going to compare this to other ships as well. And we'll eventually, with testing, see who the King of Stealth is for 3.22. For active emissions breakdown, we can see that it jumps up from 6,100 to 9,100 for the Mustang Delta in EM. IR uh, pretty much stays the same. And in Quantum Travel, of course, uh, EM is going to go really high because that's kind of what Quantum does. If we look at the change log from 3.21, the last patch, to 3.22, which is today's new patch, we can see that there are some changes overall to different parts of this ship. The armor uh, signal multipliers got changed, but really for the stealth video, we care about emissions, right? So in EM emissions, everything went up by 50%. So, you know, uh, the idle, idle EM, active EM, quantum EM all went up from their base values of last patch, which was really low. This this was kind of the king of stealth. I was able to get 1.5 kilometers from a target before they were actually able to target me. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. Uh, the infrared uh, starting emissions on the infrared went up 33% from 3220 to 4294. Uh, and then the cross section actually went up. I don't know how the ship actually got bigger, but... <laughs> I think maybe that was too low to begin with. The cross section went up front side and top uh, all by 41%. So much less stealthy is the Mustang Delta. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pull up the Eclipse. It's the Aegis Eclipse. Uh, the Eclipse is a little bit different uh, as well. Uh, it has, as far as uh, idle is concerned, 3988 EM 3787 IR. The ship is active. 4681 EM 3787 IR, which is <coughs> significantly stealthier than the Mustang Delta, which it probably should be because that's kind of what this ship was really made for. Of course, Quantum is really high for EM emissions. If we go to our change log and take a look at from last patch 3.21 to 3.22, we can see it did lose. Actually, it lost some armor. <laughs> it went down on armor, but it also went down on stealth emissions. The, uh, the EM idle active and quantum emissions went down 14%. So it is now more stealthy and the infrared emissions went down 14% as well. The cross section went down significantly, uh, down 52%. Uh, so that's that's a pretty big deal. So this thing might be the King of Stealth in 3.22. Let's go ahead and we're going to bring up the Aegis Saber. Uh, the Saber, we'll just look at active EM and IR. 52.56 EM, 42.22 in IR. Let's take a look at the change log. We can see this also lost some armor. Uh, and it also lost some significant values in... It's stealth emissions. EM emissions across the board are down 8%. Um, infrared emissions are down 8%. And the cross section is down 50%. And that may be, you know, this may change in the future. And that may be how, the, you know, we're detecting ships in the future with scanning. But uh, the Aegis Saber is significantly stealthier at this point. Now, what used to be, I think, the second most stealthy ship is the Aegis Saber Raven. The, the Comet is really just the Saber with a new skin. But the Saber Raven, active emissions, uh, pretty close to the Saber. It's changes from 3.21 to 3.22. It, it actually gained some front cross section. It lost some side cross section a lot, 54%. And then it, it also lost some top cross section. So, we're definitely going to have to test this to see if it is more stealthy. Um, interesting. Some of these changes are just really, really interesting. So let's see if we can find the Razor EX. 
Mirai Razor. I, I think I said Misk in the intro. It's not Misk, it is Mirai. It used to be Misk. Active emissions, uh, pretty high. This thing wasn't super stealthy, but it is the stealthy fighter that's kind of a racer. When we look at the change log, it actually gained a little bit of armor. Uh, and in the emissions, it also gained emissions in all three categories. The EM emissions went up 5%, uh, the IR emissions went up 5%, and the cross section went up 65% across the board. This is a tiny little ship. I'm not sure the cross section needs to be that high. Uh, and I, I fully expect this to change in the future as well. So I would expect the Razor to be even less stealthy than uh, our last video on stealth, you know, stealth one. Now let's go ahead and look at the ghost the anvil F7C Hornet ghost. Active emissions. They're fairly low here, 4105 and 3095. Let's bring up the exchanges from last patch to the current patch. Um, it, it lost some armor, negative 33%, but emissions wise, it also lost significant amount of emissions. EM emissions across the board are down 33%. The infrared is down 33% and all cross sections are down 66%. So the ghost looks to be much more stealthy uh, going forward, at least in the first 3.22 patch. Now let's, well, we'll bring up the, the big beast right here. The, the not stealthy dropship that's kind of supposed to be stealthy. Uh, yeah, it, it is made to technically be a stealth dropship is kind of what it's been marketed as. Uh, if we look at our active emissions, you know, EM is 16,000, IR is 11,000. So it's definitely not as stealthy as like a fighter, right? But maybe as a dropship coming in, if you have the right components and enough decay, EM decay, you could kind of surprise people. I'm, I'm not sure. Let's look at the change log. It lost armor uh, and it lost emissions uh, all around e EM emissions across the board, negative four, uh, down 14% infrared emissions down 14% and cross section down 37%. So this thing used to be way less stealthy and now it is more stealthy. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Let's take a look at the Asperia talent. Another ship by Asperia. This is the Tavarin uh, fighter, uh, one of them. This is the gunfighter versus the Shrike, which is the missile fighter. And this is also supposed to be a stealthy ish ship. It looks like its emissions aren't bad, but they're, I don't think they're as good as the Saber here. The Talon uh, for change log is showing a reduction, a little bit reduction in armor and reduction across the board in, in stealth emissions. Uh, EM down 14%, infrared down 14%. Cross section is down 59%, almost 60. So should be much harder to detect. Let's go ahead and pull up the Talon Shrike. It's a cousin that's mostly missiles. This one looks to be maybe EM wise a little bit more stealthy. Uh, the Talon Shrike uh, change log here. The Armor went down again, uh, just like the other one, but it had almost the same changes across the board as the Talon. Down 14% in EM emissions, 14% in IR emissions, and down 61% in cross-section. So one of the other things we can also do on this website, besides we, we can just, you know, change things out if we, uh, if we pick up a Saber. A just Saber, there we go. We can actually look at different components. Um, you, we can see that it comes with the Sonic Light Grade C. Um, we do have what the loadout is and the stats of the loadout. I haven't played around with this website too much. I don't know if we can actually change them out. That may be Urkel thing, actually changing them out and finding out where that stuff's at. But we can at least get the numbers and the stats for, for a lot of the base uh statistics of this thing and another thing we can do i'll click on over to this is we can actually compare ships and so we can look at what i have up here in the red is the mustang delta and what i have in the blue is the aegis eclipse 
Yeah, as we can see, kind of down here, try to put it in the middle of the screen, the radar emissions. We can compare these two together. Really, we're looking at uh, idle, active, IR, and cross section. We can see that across the board, the Mustang Delta is has more EM emissions, active EM emissions, more IR emissions, and a higher total cross section now than the Aegis Eclipse. The Aegis Eclipse is, should be on paper, more stealthy across the board than the Mustang Delta. So let's get the Delta out of there and we will go ahead and grab the Hornet Ghost and we'll compare that to the Eclipse. These two are much closer in statistics. The, as we can see down here in the radar emissions, the ghost is, uh, it's, it's approaching the stealth level. <laughs> well, I actually, let, let me reverse that. I'm sorry. The, the eclipse has higher EM emissions than the Hornet ghost. And now this is stock as well. Keep that in mind, guys. Uh, so the, the ghost is technically stealthier in both EM and IR, um, with the eclipse having a little bit more, but the ghost has a higher cross section, a total of a little over 8,000 versus the eclipse, which is a little over 7,000. That's an interesting statistic there. So... Technically, the Ghost should be a little more stealthy than the Eclipse. Let's go ahead and compare the Ghost to the Saber, Fighter versus Fighter. We can see that the Saber also has more uh, EM emissions, more IR emissions, and a little bit smaller cross-section than the Ghost. Uh, so the Ghost should actually be stealthier than the Saber in this pack, except for a little bit in cross-section. We can bring up the good old Saber Raven. And we can see that uh, same thing again, the ghost should be stealthier across the board. It has a lower cross section IR and EM than these Saber Raven. Let's bring up the Razor X. Again, the ghost is much stealthier on paper than the Razor EX. Uh, I mean, cross section, uh, IR, EM, everything. Uh, let's look it up against the Talon. Again, the Ghost is stealthier. Uh, so it looks like the Ghost right now might be the winner. Uh, if we look at the Shrike. Okay, it's a, it's still stealthier than the Shrike. And last, the Asperia Prowler, which is extremely not stealthy, especially compared to something like the Ghost. Something else we can do is we can actually click on our metrics or our, I'm sorry, our summary chart here. And we can look at, you know, how these two ships compare to each other. What we really care about is kind of here in the, what is that? About 11 or 10, 11, somewhere between 10, and 11 o'clock position here. The stealth area of this uh, graph. We can see that the, the Hornet Ghost in the red uh, and the Spirit Prowler in the blue that stealth wise, uh, it is much stealthier. Uh, what the Prowler has over the ghost, we can see is the total hit points, lowest number of hit points, the shield pool and the capacitor size, which makes sense because it's a bigger ship. If we compare the ghost and the Talon, graph changes a little bit. Uh, the ghost is still stealthier but the Talon is edging in there. It's, it's pretty close. The Talon does have some, you know, better maneuverability all around, which makes sense. A little bit higher SCM. The, the Shrike is pretty much the same. I didn't see much change there. If we go to the Mirai Razor EX, we can see the Razor EX is definitely faster, more maneuverable and better thrusters, but the Ghost still looks to be stealthier. Let's go all the way back to the top and we'll bring up the Aegis Saber. The Ghost still edges out the Saber in the stealth category. These are very, very similar ships here. The Saber is only better in retro, boost retro, and it has a little bit higher SCM. Otherwise, the Ghost looks to be the better ship, at least stock. The Saber Raven, more maneuverable, 
I'm sorry, maneuverability is about the same. It is, has more speed, uh, a little bit longer flight time, and better retros. But again, uh, the, the ghost is more stealthier. I'm sensing a pattern here. And uh, I think lastly, we should pull up the Eclipse. And yeah, the stealth compared with the Ghost and the Eclipse is really, really close with the Ghost just edging it out. And the only thing it appears that Eclipse is better at than the Ghost is the boost retro. Um, however, we know the Eclipse has size nine torpedoes and the Ghost does not. So pretty darn interesting uh, to compare all these ships together. So what's next, you may ask? Well, I may just end up bringing up Urkel uh, games and doing a very quick explanation. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to load up Urkel and we're going to go over some, some stats of something real quick. Let me bring up what appears to be our best vehicle, the Anvil Hornet Ghost. Okay, so the ghost here, we can see that we would look down here. I think my mouse is on the screen. We can see that this thing is supposed to have a bonus of negative 40% EM, IR, and cross-section signature. Now, I don't think Urkel has actually updated all the stats to the, the this latest patch, but we can sit here and manipulate weapons and things like that and kind of get an idea of where we want to be on stealth. If we look... Uh, at the actual Hornet Ghost stats here, we don't see a whole lot of information. Um, what we care about is under the sustain and the burst section over here on the screen, on the left side of the screen, we want to look at these EM and IR signatures because the cross section is fixed for all these ships. The EM being 3941, the IR being 1369, and that's in the stock configuration. So what happens when we actually change components? Well, we can see that the shields are Shimmer Stealth Grade C shields. If we click on that, we'll get the actual Shimmer stats here. In the stat block for the Shimmer, you can see that it has a power to, to EM of 3. That adds to the non-stealthiness. A decay rate of the EM, the electromagnetic, of 0.2. The higher that decay rate goes, the faster your electromagnetic signature of your ship goes down. So you want power to EM to be as low as possible. Then you want your decay rate to be as high as possible so you can drive off that EM signature uh, as quick as possible. And your temperature to IR, which is what this shield will raise the... Uh, infrared signature of the ship to is a four, which is, I mean, it's a shield. It's not crazy. There's a bunch of other stats in here too that actually matter. So let's go ahead and compare the stealth grade A Mirage shield over to the shimmer shield. If we go back to the shimmer, our power to EM is three, uh, decay rate 0.2, temperature to IR of a four. And if we switch over to the Mirage, we can see that, hey, the stealth stats are exactly the same between them. And that, that happens a lot, uh, especially between stealth components. They're, they're just as stealthy as the other components. The difference here in the grade A versus the grade C shields is that the Mirage has more hit points. It has 1,725, where the Shimmer has 1,500 health points. And the Mirage can also take more distortion damage before it shuts down. Um, and it takes longer to regen because it has more hit points. So it, I would recommend going full upgrades on this because if, if this is a fighter, if you're going to fight with it, you want to have it as, as many hit points as you can, but you don't need to change it if you're just looking for a stock configuration. Going over to the power plants, we can see this has a stealth grade A slipstream power plant with eh, probably enough power left in reserve where you shouldn't be overheating or having power issues. The slipstream, uh, you can change that out for other things, but it's not going to be as stealthy. Um, it has a power to EM of 0.63, a decay rate of 0.24, and a temperature of IR to 1.75. 
Moving on to coolers, we can see that it comes with stealth grade C coolers, the heat safe. Let's go ahead and change the other cooler to the Snowblind, which is the size one stealth grade A cooler. We can see the heat safe has an EM 8.25, which is pretty high for a cooler, uh, but it's still, it's stealth. Uh, decay rate of 0.24 and temperature of IR of uh, 1.35. Now, in this case, the stealthier cooler, the Snowblind, has a higher decay rate when we switch over to it. We go from 0.24 on the heat safe stealth grade C to 0.28 on the Snowblind. So that means even though it's, you know, it's it's a hundredth, the point uh, four hundredths better in EM decay, everything adds up. You know, how fast can you decay that EM is how fast you can, you know, get get closer and it's not going to make that, that much difference with just one component, but doing it across the board with multiple components may, may make things better and easier uh, to, to be more stealthy more quickly. Is that, I don't even know if that's a word. Regardless, I would recommend changing both coolers over to Snowblind Stealth Grade A's. Now, the quantum drive this thing comes with is an EOS, and there's a reason for that because it has a small fuel tank and the, the Hornet... Uh, all the Hornets have an EOS civilian grade C quantum drive that it comes with stock. The EOS, if we look at the stats, power to EM 75, decay rate 0.2, temperature to IR is 2.5. Now this really only matters when the quantum drive is powered on. However, I believe the temperature uh, and the decay rate are kind of passive. Right, the power to EM only matters when you have this quantum drive on your and, and when you're spooling and then when you're actually quantum traveling and when it's cooling down. Once it's actually cooled down and it, and it turns off, then that e, your EM will drop significantly. And we'll show that in the video uh, later, a little bit later on. So if we swap out from the EOS to a stealth drive like the Spectre, which is stealth grade A, we can see that our power to EM stays at 0.75. Our temperature to IR goes to 2.5 and our decay rate goes up uh, to 0.24. Going back to what it was, well, guess what? The EOS had the exact same stealth stats. So why swap out? That's a really good question. I don't think there's actually a need to do that. So what I would recommend as far as quantum drive goes is to get the fastest quantum drive that you can get that will be able to take you around Stanton in one jump. That is definitely not the stealth drive, the Spectre. I'm sure that will change in the future. But right now, that is a civilian drive, either the Atlas, which is a civilian grade A, or the faster drive, the Voyage, which is a civilian grade B, but it's a little bit faster than the Atlas. Spools up and spools down a little slower, but not much. Um, and that, stealth-wise, is the exact same stats as the stealth drive. So keep that on there. Now, I'm not going to do this for every ship, but I did want to go over some of the other stuff here. There are weapons on this ship. And guess what? The Hornet Ghost does not come with a nose weapon. So you're going to want to put a nose weapon on. Keep an eye down here in EM and IR. Let's say we throw a laser repeater on there, a Panther 337. Well, EM and IR just went up. If we turn this off, our EM... Just a 30, a 3941 turning it on, 4197, and our need for power goes up as well. So keep that in mind. Our IR pretty much stayed the same uh, with the Panther 337. The difference in the laser repeater and the laser cannon, which it comes with an Omni Sky 9. Let's look at our stealth stats here. The 337 has a Power to EM of 1.5, decay rate of 0.2, and a temperature to IR of 2. Switching it over to the Omni Sky, we have a higher power to EM of 1.8, a decay rate that is equal, and a temperature to IR that is equal. So, overall, stealth wise, the Panther 337 is stealthier than the Omni Sky 9. I believe there are other weapons you could use like the m5a which has a well no that has a higher power to em as well 
uh, but it has a much higher decay rate in this M5A. A uh, decay rate of 1 versus 0.2 on the Panther 337s. So if you're okay with using M5A or laser cannons like that, uh, you, and you want to be even stealthier, that may be something you want to consider. That's why I like using Urkel, because there's all kinds of different options here. Uh, different laser cannons have different uh, stats, right? The FL-33, really close to the Panther laser repeater. The Light Strike 3 is a little more stealthy than, than that one. And these all have different, you know, ranges and damages. The M5A is even probably the most stealthy as far as laser cannons go. The Quarreler and the Omni Sky are the same as far as stealth stats go. But I think if you wanted to go for a laser bill, which is probably what you want to go for, because uh, you, you could go for a ballistic build, but you're going to run out of bullets pretty quick. And the benefit of having like the, like the ballistics, is you can do more damage. It kind of goes through shields, but you know, uh, with the way the ammo is, I don't I don't like doing the ballistic builds anymore. Uh, with distortion weapons, uh, yeah, power to EM. It's all about the same as far as stealth goes. And the scatter guns are a whole different story. They have a really low uh, power to EM, a D, uh, you know, an average decay rate, but their IR is up high. It's like 6.6 .6 for these laser scatter guns. And that's a lot. The ballistic scatter guns, the ballistic shotgun, also another high IR, but low EM. So there's a trade off there. I think if you kind of want to go for the stealthiest build with ammo that'll replenish, you go with the M5A uh, as part of a kind of a laser cannon build. No, those are all size threes, so you're not gonna have a you're not gonna have anything gimbaled. You could go with the size down and then gimbal it if you want to. Okay. Now on to missiles. <laughs> we can see that this thing comes with four uh, infrared ignite twos and uh, four marksman infrared uh, size one missiles. We start turning off the missiles we can see that it will reduce our ir over here from 4254 we turn the missiles back on to 4292. when you actually hit p and turn your weapons off in game it doesn't turn your missiles off it turns your lasers off or your, your guns but it does not turn your missiles off you can go into the mfd and turn those missiles off and let's see how much we would lose uh, we're at 4292 with all the missiles on. With all the missiles off, we're at 4141 EM. So I, I don't think that's necessarily the best thing to do because you're going to want to creep up on somebody and then shoot a missile at them. That's that's really kind of what you want to do in stealth. Then you're going to do that with shields powered down, weapons powered down, missiles on. And then as soon as those missiles are fired, you're going to turn your shields on, turn your weapons on, and then come in and engage because that target's going to know you're coming. So is there more stealthy missiles, I guess, is, is a good question here. Uh, if we compare infrared to infrared, let's see the Rattler 2s, which are actually really popular. Uh, I don't think I have a ton of data on them. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of stealth data on this base screen in Urkel. But we can we can play around. Like if we go to we can go to a cross-section missile. We go to an EM missile. Yeah, our stats over here didn't actually change. Uh, they stayed the same. Uh, especially, yep. So it looks like with the missiles, and I may be wrong here because I haven't done a ton of research on the missiles. It may not matter uh, which missiles you actually pick. As far as the thrusters go, yes, your thrusters do provide uh, infrared heat. And as you move your ship, your EM signature will go up and, and your heat will pretty much stay the same, but your EM signature will go up. So, it will, you know, the more thrusters you have, the more EM and IR you're going to have altogether. But you can't change that because that's those are bespoke to each ship. So... For a full upgrade here, if we moved all of our non-stock items into the cart, 
and we were looking to do a full stealth upgrade as far as my recommendations um for the two snow blinds let's say we tried to buy these all at the same place like housing crows uh we can get we can get the m5a at crusader showroom and then so everything can be gotten at horison um uh, for 156,400 credits uh you don't need the voyage quantum drive um but i would say the rest of them to be stealthy you probably want those so you could you know if you take 15,600 credits off just going more stealthy it would cost about 140,800 alpha uec okay that's it for this urkel tour you know later on if you guys want to feel free the the link is in the description below you can come up here you can pull up aegis and you can pull up the saber and start tinkering around with weapons and stuff one more thing you can do which i'm not going to get into a lot of detail here is on the left hand side of the screen there's a data side and what you could do is pull up weapons and it's going to be this big database here on the screen well if you scroll over you will start to see all the different stats and you can look at power to EM, the K rate of EM. And then you can start looking at the IR temperatures, starting IR temperatures, temperature to IR, recovery temperature, max temperature, minimum temperature. All, there's all kinds of stats that are not shown on that main Urkel page. So if you wanted to see what weapon had the highest decay rate, well, here we go. We have the Shredder. These are shotguns, the Scorpion GT250. Uh, the M5A but tied for one of the highest and same with the lower size so you could gimbal that on the ghost uh, the M4A it has a really high decay rate to the EM power to EM is over here right next to it 1.5 cut 1.8 a 1 you wanted to see what had the lowest power to EM uh, you can see the CF117 the Bulldog laser repeater really low on power to EM and, and these stats may not be accurate to 3.22 uh, this, they might still be 3.21 stats. We can also look at what has the best uh, temperature IR or the lowest. Uh, that would be the Slayer, and then the CF-117 size one weapons, the Yellow Jacket GT-210, the Jericho rockets, which come with the Mustang Delta. That's what. That's why it has such a low IR signature. Then we can see the highest. Some of these other weapons, the Revenants, the, the big Gatling gun, that's a really high IR temperature. You're not going to be stealthy with stuff that has high, high, uh, high temperatures. So, and you could also filter by size. Say we wanted to just look at size threes and we just wanted to look at laser repeaters. Okay, so now this list is much more manageable. If you like laser cannons or repeaters or ballistics or whatever you want to look at, you can make this list fit what you... You could do this for... Uh, all the weapons and all the stats on the weapons. You can look at shields and quantum enforcement devices and all that stuff. So uh, I'll leave that up to you. Play around with the stats. Check it out. And I think now we're going to get into the game. We're going to end up doing a mission uh, to see how close we can get to uh, a PBE enemy with the Hornet Ghost. And then probably fire some missiles and do that mission and then i'm going to be with one of the members of the b team it might be jawa it might be somebody else and they're just going to sit there and wait for me to show up on the screen and target me we're going to see how close we can get with all these different stealth ships and then i'm going to plug this thing into a spreadsheet towards the end of the video might be a little boring uh but if you're into the numbers uh which you're if you're serious about stealth you should be into the numbers you might want to check that out. I'll have our, you know, what what we got as far as testing goes in the spreadsheet. And then I'll do the, the comparisons based on the ship performance viewer. And we'll see, you know, how close our test results are to what we actually have. And maybe we can figure out some ratios in there of distance to target and what an EM and IR and cross section and you know, come up with some numbers to maybe see if, if the ghost, which on paper should be the stealthy ship, see if it, see if it actually is. So stay tuned for those parts of the videos. And, uh, thank you for watching so far. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. As you can see, we are in game and in front of us is the 
Anvil Hornet Ghost, supposedly the new king of stealth, possibly. Impacts Alpha 3.22. I'm wondering if these kings of stealth are going to change from patch to patch as the devs uh, change things around. But we have outfitted this ship in full stealth uh, grade A components, including the quantum drive. And I did fit it with three laser repeaters CF337s. So that is currently what's on there. And we're waiting for the canopy to close. There we go. We're going to start this ship up. Boom. OK, as the ship is booting up here, we're going to take a look at our, our IR, our cross section and our EM right now sitting in the hangar. Our cross section in the middle here is at 3708. That's not going to change. It's going to be a cross section of 3708 the whole time we're flying it. To the left, the IR 3154 with apparently a background IR of 294. Not enough to hide in. And as you can see, our EM here, 3780 ish, and it's going down. And that is the decay rate. And there is no background EM for us to hide in. Um, I, I've been told when the second number after the slash is higher than your first number, you're basically hidden. You're like for IR, there's enough where there's enough heat out there where you it's more than you. So you'll be hidden if that makes sense. Now we do need to come down here and we need to turn on our suppress overall IR. You can see our IR is suppressed and now it's at 2555 darn low if you're asking me. OK, let's open up this hangar. And we'll take the ghost. It looks so good. This looks so good. I love the black on the Hornet and the flat top, even though we're missing a little bit of firepower. Hopefully this guy is able to. Oh, look at a broken ship up here. Hopefully this guy is able to perform pretty well. OK, let's head out. And while we're out here flying around, we want to take a PVE mission. And we're going to do one with the Hornet and uh, probably one with the Eclipse and see how close we can get. Those seem to be the two battling for stealth supremacy in 3.22. So I will meet up with you again through the magic of video editing. As soon as I find a target and we start getting close, so stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we took a just a tracker training mission because this is a new patch. And I haven't done a bunch of bounty hunting. As you can see, we've quantumed into the yellow asteroid belt and our IR once again is 2555 cross section 3708 and our EM is after quantum reducing really fast 5600 ish. So I'm going to come 30 clicks away here. I'm going to start to make my way in. Letting that EM reduce. The you know, if, if you don't know how stealth works. I'll give you a little primer as I'm kind of coming in here. The. Your IR rating is really based on your the components that you outfit to your ship and then your ship's base IR. Your you, you can go to your heat screen on the multifunction display and do what I did earlier in the video and, and click suppress overall IR. And it basically is going to use more energy and computational power, I'm guessing, and it's going to reduce the IR output of your ship. That's really the only stealth mechanism you can use. There are other uh, things you can do, and that's based on components. When you click on the on the components or one of the other multifunction displays, I think it's for items or power. When you click on stealth, it's going to limit your power. So, oh, I don't know. Trespassing. In a Daigil Holdings controlled area, Libra risk prosecution. Interesting. Well, we do have a mission here, so I'm not sure I ever saw this near Yella. Um, as far as EM goes, we're at about four, almost 4,000 right now, and it's going to get a little bit lower as we're making our way in. We're about 15 clicks from the target. Uh, your EM will, will has what's called a decay rate, and it depends on what components you have. The decay rate will vary. 
Also, when you do certain things, like if I fire a weapon, it's hard to see because of that notice. There we go. Trespassing. If I fire a weapon or shoot a missile or something like that, my EM will go up. If I move the ship, the EM goes up and then it starts to decay as you stabilize. The higher the decay rate, which depends on your components and the ship and, and the different weapons and things you have on, that really influences your decay rate. So right now, as we're kind of coming in, I'm going to hit O. We're going to turn our shields off and lower that EM signature. Now it's down to 3100. I'm going to hit P. Now I'm going to turn my guns off, but it's going to leave my missiles on, further reducing my EM signature. I'm going to go ahead and turn my missiles on. And I'm going to load up three missiles. Now our EM is down at 2300. So as I hit the gas, we're, we got up to 2400. Now we're down to 23 and we're still declining. So as soon as we can get a target, I will hit T and we'll be able to see more information. But we're nearing 10 clicks from the target. I'm not going to do this level of detail for every one of these I do. But, you know, I kind of want to explain a little bit how stealth it's coming into eight clicks on the target I still can't target him that means he he's stealthy enough for me now we're within six clicks oh and I got him I don't know if he saw me I definitely saw him I'm roughly 6100 meters from him oh and I lost target that's stealth going in and out because he is moving around there's his friend over there Maybe we'll try to get his friend. Friend's probably like, someone's got a missile lock on me. What's going on? I don't think his friend sees us. It's an Aegis Avenger, the Loon Baldwin. We're coming up in, uh, we're still about 6,000. He's taking damage from somebody. He might be running into asteroids. Um, we're not close enough for a lock with size one missiles. We're going to going to switch we're going to switch to ignite two size twos our, our em is down to 2200 right now and i am within five clicks we actually do the main target he's closer we do have a missile lock on him and apparently he hasn't seen us yet we're at third we're at three three kilometers and he's shooting at somebody i don't know who he's shooting at I don't think he's seen us yet, though. Now we're at two kilometers. Under two kilometers. I don't see anything. They're fighting with somebody. I don't know who they're fighting with. Just roughly still at two kilometers. Right about now is a really good time to launch those missiles, but we're trying to find out how close we can actually get. We're going to raise our shields and our turn our weapons on and actually engage. We're at 1300. I haven't heard anything on the radio. Oh, I just heard it. So, I mean, we're, we're at roughly a thousand kilometers or a thousand, a thousand meters. Okay. Oh, firing some, uh, countermeasures here. Oh, Ooh, some crazy server FPS. Let's fire some missiles at this guy. Now let's shoot him. Boom. And he's gone. Our shields came up pretty darn quick. Uh, for the most part, the stealth shields do regenerate fairly quickly. We will shoot at... This other guy who apparently is red. Maybe it's two different pirates fighting each other. I thought there was another guy. Maybe maybe this guy took out the other guy. And we're still trespassing. So there you go, folks. Uh, I, I mean, who knows if he was looking for me or not, but I apparently got down to under one kilometer with the Hornet Ghost, and I did not get that with the Mustang Delta last patch. So... This thing certainly is stealthy. We'll, we'll, we'll do this with another player and, you know, actually get the number. But there's a good PVE statistic for you. Stay tuned when we do this to the, from the Aegis Eclipse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the Aegis Eclipse. And just 
reconfigured all the systems. It is full stealth and the same components as the Hornet, except this has two size two guns and three size nine torpedoes. So we're going to check this uh, ship out here. As soon as canopy closes, there we go. All right, we're going to fire it up. And we're actually, just to save some time, we're going to keep the shields off and keep the weapons off. Okay, it is firing up. Let's check out the stats here. You can see it has a larger cross section of 4366. It has an IR, an initial IR of 3786 and an EM of about 2700 with shields and weapons off. Uh, and it is reducing right now, so... Let's take this guy out of the hangar. Get her up into space. And I guess we'll try another bounty mission, trying to find another bad guy here and see once again how close we can get. Um, so now that we're actually flying, Thank 3786 you. for IR, uh, and we have a stable uh, flight right now. So our, our EM about 2900 or so and dropping. So right now the stats are already more than the Hornet Ghost. So I don't expect it to be as stealthy, but let me uh, pause the video for you. And I'll meet up with you guys as soon as we find another target. All right, everybody. So we're here outside the Asteroids of Yellow once again. And I found an MRT. I hope I don't get smoked. This is not really what the Eclipse is made for. Um, but we'll see. I know there's going to be some additions here. Um, we'll see if our torpedo even hits. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and arm a torpedo. So we're going to fly in here while our EM is decreasing. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to suppress our IR. So let me go to the heat menu and we will suppress the IR. Let's suppress it. 3067 is our IR. Yep. Okay. Now our IR is actually suppressed. It is 3067 instead of 3600. So we're even more stealthy the infrared range so we're gonna proceed to the target and i'll uh, i'll probably just fast forward this section and we'll get back with you as we creep ever closer to him probably within about 12 clicks Okay, folks, now we are making our way closer to the target. This these torpedoes have a range of about 30 kilometers, and obviously the target is stealthy enough where I don't even have its signature yet. We are under 10,000. It's pretty much as full stealth as we're going to get. We're about 3000 or so uh, EM. I'm waiting so I can even target this this target here. There we go. There's at least one target. Blaze, we're about seven kilometers out from him. The main target is actually closer. They're probably like, whoa, there's a missile lock out here. I can shoot my torpedo, which is, you know, might be a strategy here, but I want to see how close we can get. Okay, do I have the other contact? Okay, now I have the main contact. As the torpedo is locking on, we're down. We're we're 3,500 meters right now. I don't see them really moving around. <laughs> Apparently, they've been running into asteroids. The Origin 325A has already taken damage. 2,500 meters, still nothing. So we're starting to slow down. Oh, I just heard him. So we got to about 2,400. 2400 meters with 
be way not gonna be able to do that. We need to turn our shields on and our weapons on and increase our speed because they're gonna too too far for missiles switching to guns, uh, basically. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, a Mirai Razor, stealthy vehicle. Oh, God, he hit me. Yeah, I killed him, but he took off part of my wing. Because he ran into me. I don't know if we can lock this guy up with a torpedo. Probably not. Nope, we're just not able to do that. Let's see if we can finish, finish this off. Hey. Them flying into me <laughs> is annoying. The jousting is annoying. Oh, I don't know what I was about to run into. Got his shields down and took him out. Okay, there should be one more bad guy out here. There we go. He's pretty close. This is that. Oh, it's a terrapin. Holy God. These guys take forever to kill. If I want to try to get a torpedo off, I need to be at least one click away. I think. Here we go. Let's try a torpedo. Fired. There goes the size nine. I don't know if he's going to do countermeasures. Firing another one. Switching back to guns. It's an expensive kill. No idea if the counter, if he employed countermeasures or what. Yep, looks like he's employing countermeasures. Normally, a fully gunned Terrabin shouldn't be, should be able to take out a, uh, an Eclipse. Well, maybe not. I mean, but it's, it's very defensive. It's a, a turtle. I wonder if I can just, I know it's just too close, but can I dumb fire and get him? Will it go for the center of my, no, it won't. Of course not. Apparently, this guy isn't actually firing back. Oh, it's boring when they don't fire back. Let's get way more gun energy. And boom. Okay. That's a quick 500 Alpha UEC. Okay, so we got pretty close with the Eclipse. Uh, roughly, to, I think it was 2.5 kilometers. Um, definitely not as close as we got with the Hornet Ghost. And on paper, the Ghost just edged out the Eclipse. We'll see what the Eclipse can do when we kind of do it in a PvP scenario. And I actually have somebody, you know, looking and uh, seeing how close we can actually get. Until then, uh, actually, I think that's probably next is we're going to do ship by ship a PvP and, and, and well, not real PvP, but we're going to see how close we can get targeting so stay tuned for that everybody all right everybody we are in an aegis eclipse full stealth uh ir is suppressed and java sparky is right at uh 10 kilometers from us we're gonna proceed towards him at scm speed and as soon as he is able to target us he's gonna target and we're gonna see basically uh how far out we can we can go i'm gonna go ahead and gauge cruise control and our EM jumped up to about 2,900 and now it is falling. As soon as you can target me, Joe, just go ahead and target me. Roger. It's 6,500 meters. 
Nearing 5,500, we should see you on radar here soon. Yep, got you on radar. Now, in PvE practice, it was right around 2,500. It's 3,500, so we should be coming up close to target. 3,000? There you are. Boom. So, okay, so probably around 2,700. Mm-hmm. That's about, that's say. what it said when you, mm-hmm. Now, I was able to target you much further out, um, which is good news for an eclipse because the torpedoes have a range of 30 kilometers. Um, although, you'll see that coming. So, the whole idea for stealth is to catch someone by surprise. So, with that, we're going to switch on over to the next ship in the lineup, the Anvil Hornet Ghost. All right, everybody, this is take two. We're in the Anvil Hornet Ghost, and we are going to head towards one of our new testers uh, in the BT Morg Thalen. Um, I I do have IR suppressed at 2555 with no background radiation, a cross section of 3708, and a dwindling EM almost down to 2000. That's going to go up as soon as we turn on our engines here and we're going to start heading towards Thalen at SCM speed, which is about 191 in the ghost. EM jumped up to about jumped up to about 2160 or so. And it, now it's now that we're stable, it's falling for about 8000 meters. Passing 7000. I'll probably get Thalen on my radar at about 5500. Actually, I have him now. There we go. He's on my radar. So just keep it in T there, Thalen. So you target me. 3,500. Just keep hitting it. 3,000. I'll pop up on the screen right gotcha. there. That's about 2,300. So 2,300 meters for the Anvil Hornet Ghost coming in at you. Um, that's Pretty darn good. We'll have to see if that's better than the Eclipse. All right, folks, we're here in the Aegis Saber and we are 10 clicks away from Java Sparky. Our EM has bled down to about 3000 IRs at 3420 and suppressed weapons and shields are off. Cross section 3881 on the Saber and we're going to proceed to SCM speed towards Jawa. As soon as you see my uh, target come up, Jawa, just go ahead and target me. Passing 8,000. Right. This thing goes about 205 SCM speed, so we are moving pretty quick. I'm passing 6,500. 6,000 meters. 5,500. EM is still bleeding down, even from the initial acceleration. <coughs> passing 4,000. 3,500. Oh, gotcha. right there. About 3,200, we're going to call it. All right, so PvP full stealth on the Saber, about 3,200-ish. All right, next ship. All right, folks, so we are here in the Aegis Saber Raven, and we are going to 10 clicks from Jawa. We're going to head out. We have a cross-section of 4518, an IR of 3,081, and an EM of about 2,700 and dwindling. We are making our way towards Jawa at SCM speed of about 204. All right. Passing 8,000 Jawa. Our weapons and shields are off as well as the EMP generators. We're hitting 6,500. I have Jawa on radar. Passing 5,000. 4,500. Got me about 4,300. So 4,300 is the not super stealthy uh, Aegis Saber Raven. On to the next ship. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back this time in the mighty Asperia Prowler, the stealth dropship that is of uh, Tavarin design. We have a suppressed IR of 9,364, a cross section of 10,073, and a dwindling EM of about 8,900, and it is starting to slow down here. Our shields are off, our weapons are off, 
and uh, it has full stealth components uh, of size two, except for the shields, which stealth wise are equivalent to the grade A size two stealth shields. So I just kept them on here and we're going to make our way to Java. I expect to be caught pretty quickly. All right, let's go about half SCM. I don't think SCM is very high. 100, go about 158. Jawa is at about 9,000 right there. So we're going to call that 9,000 meters on the Prowler. So hopefully the idea with the Prowler is, you know, you're coming in for a drop. Uh, you're fairly stealthy or you have some background radiation and they don't see you and they can't prepare for you until you're much closer. But in a firefight, you know, if you're in space, they're going to see you about uh, uh, well, let's just say a lot closer, So, It's not a fighter. Didn't expect it to be great. All right. All right, folks. So we are here in the Asperia Talon, the Tavarin replica. It's bird like ship. We have shields down, weapons off, a suppressed IR of 5,213, cross section of 4631 and an EM of about 3000. It is slowing down quite a bit now. We're about 11 clicks from Java, and we're going to proceed to him at SCM speed of about 207. He's going to target us, and we'll see. We're not expecting this to be super stealthy here. Passing 9,000. But it is, you know, it's supposed to have a stealth bonus to it. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Passing 7,000. I have Java on target, passing 5,500. Gotcha. All right there. So I'm going to say 4,900 for the uh, full stealth component Asperia Talon. Ready for the next ship. All right, folks. So we are in the Asperia Talon Strike, the missile variant of the Talon series. We have shields off, weapons off. We have a suppressed IR of 5,164, a cross section of 4,409, and a dwindling... Decay rate EM of about 3060 right now, and it's going down. This thing is full stealth components, except for the shields, which are the soul drafts, uh, which are the stealthily just as equivalent as the Mirage. It doesn't matter because they're up. anyway. We're going to proceed towards Java Sparky from about uh, about 11K out. SCM speed of 207. Passing 9000. Don't expect this thing to be real stealthy, just like the regular Talon. Passing 8,000. And 7,000. 6,500. 6,000. I got you on radar. 5,500. 5,000. Okay. All right. Four, we're going to call that about 4,900 meters is when Java detected me in the Asperia Talon Shrike. Off to the next ship. All right, folks, we are in a Mirai Razor EX, the stealthy fast ship. Uh, little tiny thing. It has a high cross section of 8622, an IR of 5480 suppressed, and an EM that coming out of Quantum was at 11,000, and it's bled down to 4960 right now. Shields are off, weapons are off, and we're going to head towards Java Sparky at SCM speed thing is about 251 for SCM. It's pretty quick. Uh, passing 8,000. I expect Java to pick us up pretty soon on this ship. 7,000. Passing 6,000. I have him on radar. And there's 5,000. 5,000. Okay. So 5,000 is when you picked me up on the Razor EX. The full stealth components. I even switched out the shotgun weapons for laser repeaters. Uh, so interesting. Didn't expect it to be super stealthy and it wasn't. Moving on to the next ship. All right, folks, we are here in the consolidated outland Mustang Delta. And we have everything uh, IR suppressed, weapons off, shields off, uh, cross section of 4945, IR of 3478. And an EM about 3,000 and getting lower. And we're going to make our way to, to Java Sparky, who's 10K out. And he's going to target us as soon as we're available. Passing 9,000. The 
the Mustang Delta used to be last patch the most stealthy ship in the game, but uh, that changed with this patch, at least on paper, passing the 7,000. And uh, it does have to have a, a higher level power plant available. I have Joe on radar because uh, it needs a lot of power for some reason. Okay, passing 4,500, 43, 42, 41, 40. Hitting 36, 35, 34. Gotcha. Right there, about 3,200. So 3,200 meters for the Consolidated Outline Mustang Delta. Still pretty darn stealthy. Um, this is full stealth components except for the power plant, and uh, which is a JS-300. So good stuff. Uh, and on to the next ship. All right, everybody, so now we are in one of our control spacecraft. We are in the Anvil F7C Hornet, and this one is the non-stealth version, so this is all stock components. We did add a nose gun just like we did to the Ghost. I have IR suppressed, shields down, weapons off. We have an IR of 4,083, uh, a cross-section of 6,485, and a dwindling EM that is really slowing down at 3,280, and we're going to head towards... Failing right now. EM went up to about 3570 when I hit the engines. Passing 8,000. Passing 7,000. Stealthier than I thought. Phelan's going to be jamming that T button. Passing. Oh, it's 6,000. I have him on radar. 8,500. 5,000. 45, 4,000, right there, about 3,900 or so. So definitely much less stealthy than the Ghost, but still stealthy enough, I would say, where I could lock on a missile, because I saw the Herald before it saw me, so. Food for thought there. Moving on to the next one. All right, everybody, we are in the Anvil Hornet. Uh, it is a regular Hornet, but it has full stealth components installed. We have a suppressed overall IR of 4,083, cross section of 6,485, and EM is pretty much stopped at 3,227 right now. Um, this is the other part of the control. This is a normal ship with stealth components. So we're going to head towards Thalem right now. It's about 10K out. Our engines popped our EM up to about 35.50, but it's now starting to go down. Passing 8,000 meters. SCM speed of about 192. Passing 6,000 meters, I have Thalen on radar. 5,000. 4,500. 4,000. Oh, gotcha. right there. So roughly about 30, I want to say 30, I want to say close to 3,900. That's what we were. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back when I, when I put the video together and we'll figure out what the actual number is. So definitely stealthier than, I think a little bit stealthier than just the stock Hornet. All right. Welcome, everybody. Here we are going to review the results of the 3.22 stealth detection statistics. Uh, we're going to look at some Urkel statistics, and we're also going to look at what we actually got in game. I actually think Urkel is off quite a bit on their stats, uh, especially base stats for IR and uh, for em um but I, well i really wish that sc performance viewer would allow us to change out components because that would make a huge difference but right now as far as i know urkel is the only one that lets us do that so let's go ahead and take a look at the spreadsheet everybody likes spreadsheets right all right let's take a look okay so up here on the screen i hope you guys can see it we do have the Star Citizen 3.22 Stealth Detection Statistics. And the clear winner of Stealth in 3.22 is 
the anvil hornet ghost in full stealth mode with that means full stealth components it says stealth over here on the left it means it has full stealth components uh it was detected in pvp and i went through the video for every single ship of exactly when i got targeted um and the hornet ghost got targeted at 2406 meters <clears throat> excuse me the second place ship was the aegis eclipse stealth it was detected at 2,709 meters. And third place went to, surprising to me, the Consolidated Outland uh, Mustang Delta in full stealth mode. Uh, in third place at 3,139 meters. A uh, caveat to the Delta, uh, the Mustang Delta, was that it had to have a better power plant to run the loadout that it has because there's only one power plant and if you run the full stealth power plant there's not enough power power everything so i actually threw a js 300 on it um and that's what we ran it on so it does have the potential to be stealthier now all of these ships here they did have except for a, a couple exceptions they did have uh panther or badger 227 or 337 laser repeaters on them uh one of the exceptions was the prowler stealth i actually put uh a b 5b or whatever the the large crusader ballistic gatling is uh on there those are size fives and then i ran 227s on there uh so it had a little bit of difference on there you know the the mustang delta has the rockets that are bespoke you can't take those off and I believe on the Talon Shrike, I left the light strikes on because I didn't have any size one laser repeaters where I was filming. Uh, should that have made a difference? Probably not a huge difference. Those ships are really close in detection ranges. Um, what I got off here about, about Urkel being wrong, uh, just as one example, the Aegis Eclipse Urkel, with, with the loadout I actually had on that ship, Urkel had the infrared... Maybe, yeah. Urkel had the infrared at 1,567 with the suppression off because it can't simulate suppression. But in the game, it was actually 3,786. And then when the IR was suppressed, it was down to 3,067. So food for thought there uh Urkel's numbers are probably off because they can't really grab stats out of the game files anymore i think they either have to rely on people reporting them or some other method uh but they do seem to be off the stuff we got in game was that has game on the spreadsheet here if, feel free to pause the video and take a look but the ir suppression is from the game the cross section was from the game the EM varies so much that there's really no great metric. I, I basically waited until the EM was bleeding down really slow. And then we took off, did the test. And so, I mean, could it have been even stealthier? Probably. But I think, you know, you're going to have to travel towards your target. So I think this is a good representation of kind of where you're going to be. Uh... But the, the the lowest IR we had um, was the Ghost uh, at 2,555. Second lowest was the Eclipse. And uh, third lowest, it looks like, is the Saber Raven. So interesting on that. The cross section that was the lowest. Let's see here. Looks like it was the ghost again. The second place coming in as the Aegis Saber. So pretty interesting in that. And then we can look at the, the Eclipse is in third place there. Of course, when we tested, we had uh, the shields off completely and the guns off. But the missiles, if it had missiles, they were still active. And we didn't turn anything else off. Except on the Saber Raven, we did not have the EMPs powered on. Which, I mean, that, that ship is... It, it's kind of weird that it's stealthy. 
Because you, I mean, it's guns and EMP. There's no missiles, so it, you know, interesting. But yeah, uh, so here's the stats. First place again to the Hornet Ghost. Second place to the Eclipse. Third place to the Mustang Delta. And an interesting note here: in 3.22, the CIG actually changed the Razor EX. And they took away all of its stealth bonuses. And that is on the ship page. That is the, the recon razor. That is supposed to be the stealthy version of the razor. So they took away all the stealth bonuses for the EX and they gave it to the regular razor and the razor LX, which are racing ships. So I don't know if that was just a mistake or if that was on purpose. Again, nothing is in the patch notes about it. It's just the ship's stats have changed. So note that, that it should be the EX. Um, and if you're watching this video in the future, these stats could all be different. This is applicable for 3.22, possibly not for later patches. Um, note that on our control ships, the stats are pretty much the same across the board here, except the detection. The F7C, the regular Hornet in stock, surprisingly was detected at 3904 meters and the with full stealth components it was pretty much the same it was 3860 okay so you know 44 meters uh better at stealth with stealth components so it just didn't drop you it's not a stealth ship that yeah you know, 40 meters will go by so quick in game you won't even notice it so of course, the worst ship for stealth was the uh, Asperia Prowler in, in a full stealth configuration. It was detected at nine, a little over 9,000 meters. Uh, the Talons, really close to each other, less than 100 meters apart, so they're pretty much the same stealth level. Uh, the Razor should not have a cross-section of 8,000. That's almost as much as a Prowler. It's a very tiny ship, so I think that needs to be adjusted. Uh, the Saber and Saber Rave. The Saber, I think, is on average probably the most average stealth ship out there. I think it's good all around in that, and it has four size threes and missiles. So I think overall you'll have a good experience with the Razor. Or not with the Razor, with the Saber. Uh, the best experience in this patch, though, probably from the Hornet Ghost. Um, yeah, and if you like to shoot torpedoes, size 9 torpedoes, it just eclipse still fulfills its role. So with that, let's head on out to the outro, and uh, thank you for watching so far. All right, friends, well, that wraps up our video on Stealth version 2 in Star Citizen 3.22. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was certainly interesting to film. I'm curious about how and why CIG changes the stats every patch. I mean, I get why we're testing different things and they're testing different builds. It is interesting that we don't see any of this stuff in the patch notes, though. So we kind of got to figure it out either using a performance viewer or Urkel. And yeah, it's been it's been an interesting ride here. One thing to note that the Mirai Razor EX is actually the stealth variant of the Razor series. However, the stealth on this patch has been drastically reduced and they actually added more stealth to the Mirai Razor, the base Razor and the Razor LX, which are kind of the, like the racing versions of the Razor and the, the EX is the, the stealth variant, the scouting vehicle. So it's it's a, it's a bit odd, but I'm sure that will probably change in 3.23 or whatever the next patch is going to be. We'll only have to see uh, about three to four months from now. Who knows? Uh, and, and, you know, if stealth changes drastically, then, hey, maybe we'll do another video. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think about stealth, if it's interesting to you, if you found value in this video. Uh, and... Don't forget, we stream live on YouTube and Twitch every Thursday night at 7 p.m. And we do uh, that's with the B team. And every Sunday morning at 9 a.m., Java string streams Java with Java. Say that 12 times fast. 
and that's kind of more of a chill stream hanging out and stuff and we do uh, actually have ways to support the channel if uh, if, you, if you do like the content, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Leave a comment. If you do want to help support us, help keep the lights on. We obviously accept Twitch subscriptions. The link is in the description below. Uh, you can become a YouTube channel member. You can uh, find us on Patreon. There's different ways. We still have bills to pay the music and uh, like the, the, the tools to edit and things like that. And, the cool thing about our channel is we actually don't make any money on this. This is not our living and we give pretty much everything back to the community. We hold giveaways all the time, mostly skill based, but sometimes random giveaways and uh, all that money gets funneled into new ships or gear or all that kind of stuff and it gets sent right back out to the community. So thank you for supporting us. Thank you for watching the video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, stay stealthy. Good night, Stanton.